Hey, my name's Emma Young, and I'm going to be showing you how to clip your photo keratoscope that clips onto a smartphone onto your smartphone. This is my iPhone 7 here, and here's our photo keratoscope. So I'm going to start by turning on my phone and opening up my camera app. So you can see here, I just opened up my camera. What I'm going to do now is pinch this so I can open up the clip, so you can see here, and I'm going to be clipping this on to my camera. So I'm just going to be lining this up so I get it centered. So right in the center, I have this nice hole where I can view things, and it should be black around all the other areas. As you can see here, now what I'm going to do on the top is there are two lights. I'm going to turn both on to the brightest, so I click both in three times. So my lights are on, as you can see here, and you can see here because it's all white around what used to be black before. Now I'm going to go up to my subject. This is my dad, and I'm going to go right up to his eye so I can capture an image of his cornea. I'll tap on my phone to try to focus it and make it brighter so I can capture the image. Sometimes this might take a while to focus it. And then I have a captured image, which you can see here, with all the different rings on it. This is Josh Young, and I am doing the Android portion of this because I'm an Android person. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have downloaded an app called Superimpose, which you see on this screen. Uh, let me just show you where, where it is. So we're going to go to the Play Store, but the App Store is really similar. And if you just search superimpose, superimpose, then it brings up this app. And this is the app that you, that you want to download. Anyway, I've already downloaded it. And uh, you see it's on the screen here. So the first thing that we're going to launch is not superimpose, but we're going to launch uh, the camera app, whatever app it is that your phone has. This is mine. And um, we're going to image uh, Emma's cornea. And we, we want to make sure that the image is taking most of the cornea. And then I'm going to just center it, focus it there. And open up really widely. Oops, let me refocus. OK, maybe not the best image, but a, but a decent one. Um, OK, so this is our, our image. And you can see that the, that the reflex from the light source in the, in the center uh, may not be like totally centered. But we're not interested in that. We're interested in, in the rings. Okay, so uh, we've we've got this um, image, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up now my Superimpose app, and uh, with Superimpose I'm going to let me just get this thing off. Uh, with Superimpose I'm going to first um, pick an image, which is going to be this one, the one that that we just took, and I'm going to crop it um, because. Uh, we don't need anything other than the ring, so we're going to just crop it like that. And I'm going to say, yes, crop image. And now we have our nice image here. Now, what we want to do is we want to superimpose upon it the rings, uh, the, the ring pattern that was used in the, the Placido disk part of the photokeroscope. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to that upper left-hand corner. And now we're going to import a foreground. And I'm going to go to gallery. And you need a file called rings.png. Uh, which I shall send you, um, and um, uh, we don't have to crop that. I'm going to say yes, and this is rings.png. Now, here's the trick. I'm going to click on transform at the bottom, okay? And we want to make the rings.png file, those rings, to be approximately the, the same size as the rings on the cornea, and we want to center them sort of grossly. Um, and as, as I've done here, and it's not the central rings that I'm looking to center. It's those sort of, uh, you know, mid-central, mid-peripheral rings that uh, we, are, we are centering. And after we've done all of this, um, I am going to uh, say to save it, to uh, merge the layers, which is on the top bar, uh, the third one over the arrow pointing down to the two sheets, which is this one. Do you want to merge them? Yes, I do want to merge them. And now uh, we're just going to save this um, to um, our, our pictures. But I want to show you. So if we zoom in here, what we're looking at is we're looking at the spaces between the, the standard rings and um, uh, Emma's cornea. And Emma's cornea is fairly round, so there are not going to be a lot of gaps here. Uh, but uh, you'll see when Emma measures my cornea, I have a lot of cylinder. And it's going to be easier. So uh, that is how we do things here. And that is it for Android. Hi, this is Emma Young. I'm going to be doing the Apple version of the tutorial to use the clip-on photo keratoscope. 
So I'm going to start off by going to the App Store so I can download the Superimpose app, which we're going to use to overlay the rings on top. So if you click on it, the first app that appears is Superimpose, which you can see here. And it says open for me because I already have this app installed. So we're just going to open it up. When you open up the app, it should be loading and look like this. So before we can even superimpose anything, we have to take a picture of the cornea. So to do that, I'm going to go to my camera and I'm going to be capturing an image of my dad's eye right now. So I get what I get very close to his cornea and focus my camera so the rings are focused nicely. I capture an image, which you can see here. From there, we're going to go back into the Superimpose app and go to import Im and then go to the two boxes and you're going to get the sign that says import background. We're going to press photos and then this should be the first image that I just captured here. Um, I'm going to crop it so you get much closer to the cornea and I'm going to press choose. So that cropped down my image. From there I'm going to go to the two boxes again. I'm going to go to import foreground press photos, and click on my red rings, which were emailed to you. Then I'm going to go to transform, so I can move around these red rings. I'm going to line them up with the original white rings. And then from there, I will have my finished image. Thank you. And you can press the arrow with the two lines to merge the two of them, so they become one image. I'm going to press merge, it's the last thing. And then from there, I'm going to go to the box with the arrow pointing out of it, so I can save this to my photos. So I'm going to press under export destination photos and now save to my phone. Thank you. This is an example of an image that was captured with the photokeratoscope. And like a lot of Placido disc images, unless the cornea is grossly abnormal, as may be the case with Frank Keratoconus, it's really hard to see um, whether there is cylinder present. Okay, even if I zoom in a little bit. It's just, it's hard to tell what's, what's oval and what's not oval. That's why we came up with the idea of superimposing the uh, ring. So here's the same image, but with the ring superimposed. Now it's really obvious what's going on. The red rings are the reference rings and they're round. And so what we're looking for is deviation uh, from these, these rings. And you can see really clearly that um, horizontally uh, the white rings, which are the ones that are obtained from the, the patient's cornea, are pushed out. And as we follow one of these white rings around, if we follow it around vertically, you see that it comes in. Okay, that's both on the top and uh, at, the, at the bottom. And then again, as we follow them around horizontally, they're pushed back out. So we can tell that this is a cornea that is flat horizontally and is steep vertically. Uh, and uh, how much? Well, this is the corresponding topography. And it shows Actually, uh, where the rings are being measured, the uh, SIM Ks uh, only show about uh, two and a half, two point six diopters of uh, cylinders. So the device is, is actually fairly sensitive. So I'm going to go back here, and you can see that. And this is how to interpret the photokeratoscope images. Um, thank you very much.